Good morning, you guys. Please excuse the way I look. I have my edges drying, but today is actually day eight post op. So, yesterday made a week from surgery, which is crazy. Um, I just want to update y'all on a little bit before I get ready to go. I have my um, one week post op appointment today with my surgeon. So, first of all, y'all saw, did I show you guys? I think I showed you guys, yeah, you saw in the last video my um, garment that the doctor gave me leaving the hospital. So that garment, it actually, it works. It's really, really tight, you know. But the thing I don't like about this garment is the fact I don't like this hole. Like, you have to use this hole in order to go to the bathroom. And honestly, I, I was not feeling that. So I ordered... Um, two more. They're called, what are they called? Fajas. I ordered two more Fajas. One of them actually came yesterday. So that's advice that I would give you guys. I actually ordered, I told you guys I ordered bras too. I would order all of that stuff before surgery. I don't know why I didn't. I don't, I definitely don't think I was prepared. But if you're thinking about having the surgery or you're having it soon, definitely order more garments so that you can like change because i kept having to wash my stuff and wait like every day when i would take a shower and that was just so aggravating um this is the bra that came with the that came my doctor brought for me and it has the clips in the front i actually ordered more um with the zipper but that material is different it's like a spandex material i definitely like this cloth material more um so i like this one more but i still wear the other ones and then this is the faha the new faha that i got my fear is that it's not tight enough but as you guys can see excuse me mom, it's a hot mess up in there the swelling has definitely gone down some more but it's not down all the way it's going to take a couple more weeks for that but this Faha actually has a clip right here, and then you can unclip it and go to the bathroom easily. Ooh, I just smacked myself in the stomach and it hurt. And it has a zipper and clips. So you clip it and then you zip it up. Oh, can you see the clips? Okay, there we go. I ordered it in new too, but that one hasn't come yet, so I'm waiting on that. I'm going to link it down below just in case y'all want this um yeah edges are drying i have my one week let me try to get dressed while i'm talking one week post op today so actually i was not supposed to have my original post op was scheduled for next tuesday but y'all i cannot deal with this dream this dream right here i can't so i had to call them and i'm like listen there's barely any fluid coming out anymore and I'm aggravated like I need to take that this off so um I got an appointment for today this morning at 8 30 what time it's eight o'clock and her office is kind of far from me so I'm tripping I need to hurry up but yeah so I'm excited for that to get this freaking drain taken out so I can be more comfortable um what else do I have to inform y'all okay so pain I have not taken the oxy the pain medicine in like three or four days because honestly y'all after like the fourth day for day four post-op my pain completely went away and it I was just dealing with more of itching like right now the stitch area under my boob is what's itching me. Aside from this drain that's in me, those are the only two things bothering me. So I'm not having any more pain. However, my body is definitely feeling more fatigue-ish. Y'all took me forever to put on these dang on leggings. But ooh, look at the hips. Ooh, I been had hips though. I gotta thank my mom and my daddy for that. I can't even give the doctor credit for that. I've been had his. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, what I just said. I forgot. I'm definitely feeling like fatigue, you guys. So I've been walking bow. Started back walking bow. When I'm too tired, I don't. Like my family takes over because my mom's like, you need to walk so you don't get blood clots. You need to walk, you need to walk. So I've been walking. 
but I have been very tired like my body has been tired which is understandable but I'm tired of staying home so at my appointment today definitely gonna ask Dr. Yates if I can return to work <laughs> Um, I, I just feel like I'm one of those people, which is why I know I can't be a stay-at-home mom. I love having stuff to do. I love being busy. Like, I can't sit at home all day. Like, that's just not me. It's not me at all. Like, I can't sit at home and do nothing. Like, I can for a little vacay for a little couple days, y'all. A couple days max. But this past week like what day was i fed up i think i was fed up by like day three or four i was like uh, -uh i need something to do i can't do this no more so i'm gonna ask her if i can return to work tomorrow <laughs> i don't plan on working like my full eight hours a day or whatever but i need to i need to do something and i might as well get paid so yeah, I do a lot of walking at work, but if she allows me to go back, I'm definitely going to stay in my office more. And yeah. Alright y'all, let me finish putting on my socks, my shoes, and everything, and I will hit y'all back up when I get in my car. Let's go! I still look a mess. I gotta put this hat back on y'all, because this just ain't doing it. I look crazy. It feels so good to be driving my car. Oh my gosh. I miss my car. I miss driving. I miss my independence. Y'all, my mama was not letting me drive nowhere. That lady. Where am I going? Oh, I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, crap. I hope I'm going the right way. It says I'm going to arrive at 8.36, which means I'm going to be six minutes late. I'm one minute away. So... I'm kind of nervous to vlog. I peeped in the last um, video turn that right I was at my doctor. Street, then turn right onto okay. Southeast 8th Avenue. Okay, that was the right turn. Two rights, okay. Um, I didn't show her face and stuff because I was just like, it was kind of awkward, y'all. It's awkward vlogging turn in right. public. It's awkward vlogging in front of people. Like, it's just an awkward situation. So, I'm gonna fill out the vibe. I'm gonna ask Keep her. right, then turn And right. I'll talk to y'all when I get inside. Turn right onto Southeast 8th Free at last, y'all. The drain is out. Oh, God is amazing. Anyway, I know I said the next clip would be in there with Dr. Yates, but it actually wasn't a real appointment. Like, she was literally just taking the drain out for me because she knew it was bothering me. But my real appointment is still on Tuesday. She also has a patient in right now that's about to have surgery, so she literally stepped out just to take the drain out. So... Thanks, Dr. Yates. Okay, bye, y'all. The trade is out. I'm so happy. Today, I'm actually getting my first massage, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And I know if you know about surgeries, I don't really know too much about surgeries, but I, I've done enough research to know that people say these massages hurt. It's called a lymphatic draining massage, and it's basically where they drain all the um, excess fluid in your body post-surgery. Um to get rid of it and it helps get rid of the discomfort and the sorry y'all my memory was full I had to delete some stuff but yeah the massage is supposed to like help get rid of the swelling so that it helps you achieve the um the finish that you're supposed to have after you get like a BBL or lipo in my case so I just took my first shower and don't think I'm dirty because baby I've been bathing but I've been taking like baths i've had to like lather in the areas where i could because remember i still have my ba my bandages and my drain on um the doctor took it out yesterday so i really had to like wash around the areas but today i was bandage free so i could take a shower um and it was it felt good because i'm used to taking showers and it's like i'm finally starting to get back to normal and i'm so excited so it took me forever to put this um Faha on this is the one that um, my doctor gave me right after surgery and this one is definitely tighter than the ones that I ordered on Amazon oh and the second one comes today I wish I would have got a smaller size and then this is the zipper bra that I ordered on Amazon it's a bit more comfortable than when I tried it on the first time but oh, I wish I would have showed y'all 
how my stomach is looking before I put the faja on. But as you can see, like I have like a lot of bruising right here. Oh, I can't lift this all the way down, y'all. But my swelling has gone down a lot so far. Y'all know before, baby girl, I was... I look pregnant. I still look pregnant now, but I look more like, you know, three months, four months. Before, I was looking like six months. So, um, I'm so stupid. Um, I'm hoping that, well, definitely, after my massage today, the swelling goes down a lot more. I paid for three massages. I'm going to ask her how many she recommends. I've read, like, well, the massage people say they recommend five to ten, but I don't know if that's because they just want your money. I need to ask. So, um, yeah, the next clip, I will be getting my massage. Hopefully, she lets me record. If not, then I'll hit y'all back up after my massage and let y'all know how it goes. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Oh, is it ghetto if I go to my massage with my satin cap on? What if I put, like, a hat on top of it, like... That's cute, right? Okay, bye. I forgot my camera at home, but I'm about to get my first massage. I'm so scared and nervous. just finished my second massage scratch what I said about the first one this one hurt a lot more um it wasn't like unbearable but it was definitely more than the first one um she was really it wasn't bad like I feel like it was the hurt that I know it was working so during my third massage I'm definitely gonna come to her um she was so nice she just didn't speak english which i have no problem with because baby i use google translate okay but yeah she was really good um a lot of pain but it was a pain to where i know it will work and after yesterday's massage i definitely see a difference in like the swelling going down in my stomach getting flatter so i know after today's massage i'll be good and then I'm going to schedule my next one for Monday because they're closed on Sundays. And we'll see what happens after that because on Tuesday is my first real post-op with my doctor. So I'll check in with y'all later. My friends are here. They came to see me, surprised me, even though they've been hanging out all weekend without telling me. But it's cool though. We at Scrubbies getting food third massage He know this thing A1 like a felony All he gotta do is say the word like a spelling bee I just finished my third massage you guys It was so painful but I know what's necessary okay third massage tomorrow at my post-op gonna ask dr yates if she thinks it's necessary that i get more 
so we'll see you tomorrow good morning you guys today is day 13 post-op so tomorrow will officially make two weeks um from surgery this morning i have my first official post-op appointment that i'm running late for but i just wanted to show y'all how my body is looking so far um still swollen and i need to talk to dr yates today because i'm like um is it gonna go down more uh am i gonna still have love handles because i don't like that like i don't like that also my boobs i can't show y'all because you know i can't but um around my areola is very red and kind of swollen right now my mom was saying that that's um y'all know my mom is a nurse that's a sign of infection and that's kind of scaring me so that's something that i need to discuss with her at my appointment today um what else my main concern is really the swelling like i know a lot of people say you don't see your final well not you don't see your final final results till like six to nine months is what i've been reading and then they say majority of your swelling like you should start seeing your, your results come in at three months and I'm like, that's a long time, baby girl. I'm trying to be fine right now. <laughs> but I'm also getting my hair done today, y'all. So <laughs> I know y'all tired of seeing me look a mess. But I'll check in with y'all later because I'm running late. So I'll see y'all at Dr. Yates' office. Bye. Y'all are going to kill me. I forgot to turn my camera on. <laughs> and the doctor just left. <sighs> I'll fill y'all in when I get in the car. I just left my post op appointment and it is hair day, it's hair time. My appointment actually ran a lot longer than I expected. I expected to have like two hours in between my appointment for my post op and my hair, but it is 12.23 and my appointment is at 1.45. So I have a little over an hour to blow dry my hair. I wanted to get my eyebrows done. Let's see if I have time to do that. And I still need to go to the bank to pick up cash. So, I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Hey, y'all. So, don't mind my face. I actually just put on, like, a face mask that you peel after I... Oh, y'all ain't see my hair. I also just got my hair done. Not just, but, like, earlier today, I told y'all I was going to get my hair done. This is how it came out. That video is already out, yeah. It should be out before this video so y'all can see where I got my hair from. I dyed it or colored it myself. Yeah, let me know if y'all think I'm cute or not. I already know I'm cute so it don't matter. But you know, reinforcement would be nice. Also, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but um, this is how my waist is looking right now with the, what you call it, Faha on. But I can put my waist trainer or waist shaper, whatever you want to call this, my sweat belt. This is what I use to like exercise to help me sweat more. Um, I can put this on over it. And it's actually, it's not uncomfortable for me to sleep in. I actually sleep in it, used to sleep in it before. So I have decided that while I'm home, I'm going to wear this as well and try to when I go to sleep. If it bothers me while I'm sleeping, I'll just take it off. But I also ordered my foam boards. I ordered that from Amazon and that should be here. I think Thursday they said it'll be here because I use my sister's prime. So yeah, until my foam boards get here, I'm hoping those are comfortable to wear like out. But in the meantime, I'll be wearing this shaper while I'm home. I just wanted to pretty much talk to y'all while I peel this face. Ooh. <laughs> while I peel this face mask off, I realized that I never told you guys about my doctor's visit with Dr. Yates today. Ugh. So I told you guys the concerns that I would bring to her already, which was one, my areolas. They were very red and swollen, which concerned me because my mom was like, you know, that's a sign of infection. But I wasn't having any pain. And my dad told me like usually when something is infected it'll be in pain and so i wasn't as nervous but i just did not feel comfortable with the redness so she just told me that 
it did not look infected at all and it just looked like it was a little irritated and you guys know i have sensitive skin i've actually been having a lot of eczema inflammation right here and it's kind of like red like usually when i put my eczema medicine on it it goes back to normal but this specific area has been bothering me a lot and there's like a red patch i'm not sure if y'all can see right here and i'm hoping i don't have psoriasis because i know my sister has psoriasis so i'm hoping i'm not getting psoriasis because that would be oh i can't take it jesus eczema acne like i can't have all of the skin problems so yeah as i think it said that was fine i was just having inflammation there um so i'm hoping that goes down within the next few days I spoke to her about the massages that I've been getting. I told her that I've gotten three so far and that the people told me that I should have started going like the first week and she was like, you're fine. Um, I asked her if I should get more and how often her patients usually go. She said her patients usually go like once or twice a week, but the way the people were explaining it to me at the massage place, they were like, I need to be going every day for at least like 10 days. And she was like, you know, it's up to me and what I want to do, but that's just what her people do. So I think right now I might opt to get, because I've been like massaging myself um, pretty often today. I'm like, I can't say pretty often. Like I did it once today. I'm going to be real. I did it once today and I do feel like still inflammation, but I feel like balls. Which is where, um, why the lady was telling me she thinks I should get cavitation treatment. So I might um, get massages with cavitation treatments. But when I tell y'all I might do only three more massages and that's it. I'm serious because these massages are expensive. But I also want to make sure that I'm, I'm good. You feel me? Like I don't want to get fibroids. I don't want to have any issues that I could have prevented by just getting these massages now so I think like maybe next week I'll get three more massages and we'll see what happens with that what else did I speak to her about massages oh my results she told me everyone's telling me it's gonna take time like I spoke to my aunt today she was like honey it's gonna take time so Dr. Yates pretty much told me or pretty much affirmed what I've been researching. Three months, I'll see my results results. My next appointment with her isn't until three weeks from now. So you guys, my next video, um, I feel like I've kind of been, been bombarding you guys with surgery videos. So I'm kind of glad to just take a break and put out other content. Like I have hauls coming up, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I don't know if I'm some of the clothes are like i gotta show y'all when my body is fully there you feel me so i don't know if y'all gonna be getting you know the clothes i want to show y'all show y'all yet until like after i'm done healing completely but um yeah hauls are coming soon like i'm just excited to put out other content because i don't know if you guys are bored and tired with the surgery videos but um the next time i do see her is going to be the first week of september so for now, I really hope you guys enjoyed the surgery videos. Um, if you have any questions, I know a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a couple of you guys have been asking me um, who I've gone to, who my doctor is. I'm going to really try to get her like on camera, on camera during my next video. I'm going to try, but I'll be getting nervous sometimes, y'all. It's kind of it's kind of like weird vlogging and recording in front of people, but I'm going to try um she's also like book 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 now which i'm happy i got my appointment in because they were telling me like we're so happy we was able we were able to get you in because when i went you guys i wasn't able to see her till like an hour later like and usually when i go in and i have an appointment i'm seeing like you know right then and there but when i tell you like and it's because of covid you can't just like sit in her waiting area but I've been seeing like people. So Dr. Yates is booked, you guys. If you guys want to book with her, I know she's booking like, I think she told me six weeks out now. Get on that. Hit her up. Hit her up. Now is the time because, honey, business is booming at Yates Institution. So, um, yeah, do that. 
I'm gonna close out this video. I really hope you guys like have been enjoying the content lately. Tomorrow's my first day back to work and I feel like it's my first day of school. I'm so excited. I cleaned my room, did my laundry, I ironed, like my hair is done. I'm gonna wake up early to get my eyebrows done tomorrow morning, do my makeup. Oh, I'm so excited to go back to work. And then two days later, I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm sick of this. But yeah. I definitely want to record a video of like things I wish I knew before surgery or like the truth about surgery. It'll be titled something about that, but it'll it'll definitely give y'all a lot of information if you're interested in having any type of surgery of any kind, but you know, more specifically lipo and breast reduction cuz that's what I've experienced, but it will apply to cosmetic surgery. Period. Things I wish I knew and things I wish I've done prior to, so that video will be coming out as well. But until then, I pretty much think that's it. If this is your first time watching my channel, what's up? You know, subscribe. I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. And check out some of my other videos. Like, don't be a stranger. And if you're not new to the channel, thank you for being, you know, a part of my family. I love you so much. Te quiero mucho. Um, um, I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.